afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the Maasai Mara in Kenya. We have found a very large section of the migrating herd of wildebeest. We're going to be live on Facebook for as long as it takes to show you the extent of this magnificent uh, plethora of wildlife here. I'm going to stop for a second. We have come basically to midway along the southern boundary of the Masai Mara National Reserve. Probably just over the top of the hill over there you'll find Tanzania and these wildebeest are feeding around the plains over here. You can send us your questions or comments in the comment section of this Facebook broadcast and I will do my level best to answer any questions that you might have. Isn't that special? So what we have here, we've seen probably three or four large herds, this being by far the biggest. And I've given you a sort of idea of where geographically we are. And they are now heading in a south-westerly direction, almost back towards Tanzania. And I don't think they're going back there. I think they're probably heading down towards various waterholes that they know about in and around this area. And I suspect what they've been doing is feeding on the greener plains around this area for the last little while and pretty much, well now that the heat's built I think they're heading down towards the water. I think it's quite green around here and that's why there are so many herds of wildebeest. And you may just be able to hear the astonishing sound of hundreds of thousands of wildebeest as they call to each other. I think we should move slightly forward. I will tell you, of course, that um, there are tourists around because uh, this place is paid for largely by tourism. And I will also tell you that they're taking pictures of us, not the wildebeest, which is quite astounding, really. Let us continue forward. I think we are having a little bit of trouble with our communications from the final control. There we go. Charlene, I've missed your question. I'm going to ask Kirsten to bring it again. Try again, Kirst. Our communications are not great here. In fact, they seem to have died altogether. Let's try. Let us try it on the WhatsApp. So what we'll do is we'll move around here and then we'll show you the vast extent of this herd over through the drainage line and up the other side. Shirley, I think you were asking about lions and whether we've managed to see any sort of tracking the herd. We have seen no lions tracking the herd today. You may have seen a buffalo just in the background there, but let's carry on off through to the massive herd on the hill behind. Shirley, I haven't seen any lions. I have no doubt that there are some that can hear this herd, quite possibly the Salas Pride. We're not too far from that area. Maybe even the Purungat Pride. But I think what you'll find is that at this time of the day, they probably satiated themselves so thoroughly during the night on wildebeest that the thought of eating again right now probably makes them quite ill. There's a buffalo with a small identity crisis. He thinks he's a wildebeest and doesn't really understand why he can't understand anything they're saying or why it is that he can't respond. Is this not magnificent? We are very, very lucky to be in amongst this lot. So this is, like I said, the third great grouping that we've seen today. The other one was fairly big down on the far western edge of the Mara Triangle. And like I say, now we are halfway along the southern boundary, pretty much, of the Masai Mara National Reserve. And here is the largest herd that we've seen so far, some 100,000 at least. It's impossible to count. Uh, it's very easy to say hundreds of thousands. It could be. I'm just not sure exactly. Almost impossible to tell. Oh, the sound is just wonderful. As far as the eye can see, I can see wildebeest with the binoculars. The only places they are not is on the slopes of the hills. There you go, up the gentle slopes, but as soon as we get onto the big hills, they tend not to want to go up them. So if you look at those hills in the background, you'll find them just leading up to the sort of tree line, and then they stop. 
Vultures wheeling overhead. The old battalier as well. Ah, now we've got a question from Elaine. You say, where are we in relation to the Olololo escarpment? We are a long, long way from the Olololo escarpment. Uh, we are probably, as the crow flies, about 30 kilometers or so, I'd say. That's about how far we are. I'll just actually, I can probably check that for you if you like on Google Maps. Um, yeah, 25 to 30 kilometers as the crow flies from the Olololo escarpment. is how many miles? 30 miles or 30 kilometers? Uh, well, it's probably just over 20 miles away. Isn't that amazing? Let's move a little bit forward, perhaps, once we've looked at our buffalo with his identity crisis. We'll just move a little forward and see if we can't get down to this watering area where I think all of these chaps are heading. And Lane, you say amazing sights and sounds, absolutely astounding. I'm just reading these questions now. Michelle Gora, you say, are there any wild dogs in Kenya? There are some, not so many in this area. Uh, they are on the mammal list, but I've never seen them here. And you say, can we see the five male cheetah coalition anytime soon? Well, I'd love to see them. Uh, all the notch boys, I'd love to see them too. But they're around, they're somewhere around this area. I haven't seen a lion today though. And then. Oh, I missed it. Hang on. Stuart, you say which river is closest to us? The Sand River is the closest to us. I don't think this is it. I think this is a tributary of the Sand Rivers. In fact, this probably is the Sand River we're heading up towards now. In fact, it is almost certainly. So let's go to the banks, and then we'll see. If we do lose signal, I apologize, and thank you in advance for joining us. Stage. I think they've come across, had a drink in the river, and then headed up off to the side. There's a whole nother huge grouping up in front of us. And I'm sure that there must be lions in amongst the croton thickets here. But, as I say, the thought of eating probably makes them ill. Yes, there's a buffalo up ahead. A much larger herd. They don't have an identity crisis. They know which side of the bread their bread is buttered. We'll stop and have a look here at the beefies, who are not migratory, so they will be here all the time and are probably a little bit put out by the number of, uh, well, competitors for food and water that there are here now.